Hello YouTube, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome back to a brand new Wild Rift video and in today's video we'll be taking a look at Ezreal. So in this guide, as always, we'll be taking a look through the build. I'll show you some tips and tricks and we'll have gameplay at the end to show off to you all as well. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video and comment down below as well. It all helps out a lot. And as we close into the end of this kind of mini series, looking through all the ADC builds, after this we'll be going a little more in depth. I'll be looking at more replays and telling you guys about my decisions with each champion as well. And maybe you can learn a thing or two about that. If you like the sound of that, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have any other video ideas as well, let me know down in the comments. I always read through all of them and I always reply to every single one and I appreciate you all spending your time to watch the videos and to obviously like, comment and subscribe. So going through Ezreal's build, not really a lot has changed but there are quite a few significant changes that you need to know about before you go into your game with Ezreal. First off, Man Immune is still a really, really strong item with Ezreal. You can stack this really, really quickly with all of Ezreal's low cooldown abilities. Obviously gives you attack damage, some mana and some ability haste as well. Now one tip I have with this item is that as you're walking to the laning phase, every single time you walk from base, make sure you use your abilities. Every single time you use abilities, you gain stacks on mana immune and it will upgrade to mirror mana at 700 stacks. This is super, super important to get it as soon as possible because this is a really, really big power spike for Ezreal. Obviously, it grants attack damage based on how much mana you have as well. And obviously, every single time you use an ability, you're just going to keep getting more and more mana. So, the item is just really, really strong overall. Next up, Trinity Force. Still a great item for Ezreal. Gives you a bunch of stats, which are really, really nice. Has two really good passives as well, especially the Spell Blade. Using an ability causes the next attack used within 10 seconds to deal bonus physical damage. Now, the great thing with Ezreal is that his first ability actually works as an auto attack. So when you use your first ability, if you land it on uh, an enemy or a minion or anything like that, it will always prop the spell blade passive. You don't need to auto attack afterwards for it to work. This is just a really, really strong combo with Ezreal overall and just makes him really, really strong with this item. You can also go Iceborn Gauntlet as well, but I wouldn't really recommend it because of the next item. Um, and I'll go a little bit more in depth for that in a second. Uh, but you also have Rage as well, which gives you a bunch of movement speed as well, which is really nice with Ezreal. Obviously, you have your blink, you have your dash to kind of keep you safe all the time. But you also have that movement speed as well that can help you peel against the big, beefy, tanky front boys that are trying to run you down and trying to kill you. Next up, boots. Boots, we have the physical vamp boots. You can go for CDR boots, but to be honest, there's a lot of ability haste in this build already. So you don't actually need to go for the lucidity, the ability haste boots. I like physical vamp because I like to keep myself alive more often. And obviously you don't have hunter vampirism in this build. So you're not really going to have any physical vamp early on. So getting these boots, getting that early physical vamp, obviously is quite nice to try and keep yourself alive. And in terms of boots upgrades, there's a few options you go for. Obviously stasis enchant is always helpful. Protobelt can be nice to try and keep yourself safe. Um, and then that's pretty much it. You can go Quicksilver as well if you're against a lot of crowd control. But most of the time, you want to stay back with Ezreal and use your abilities anyway. Because the playstyle is a little bit different. Next up, now this is the big change in Ezreal's build. You now go for Sorela's Grudge. Now, why do you go for this item, you may ask? It's because of the passive, the IC passive. Damaging active abilities and empowered attacks slow enemies by 30% for one second. Now, Ezreal's abilities, especially his first ability, has a really, really low cooldown. And there's no cooldown on this icy effect at all. So you can keep spamming out your first ability constantly, all the time. Your ultimate, your second ability, your third ability. And all of these will slow down the target. So you can just keep spamming. It's really good for chasing. It's really good for peeling back as well. And it will just deal a lot of damage. Obviously... You have the armor penetration, you have the attack damage, and you have the ability haste in there as well. So overall, it's just a great item for Ezreal and just allows him to do a lot more damage. And also allows him to have a bit of utility in there as well. Just a few slows to help him out a little bit. And obviously, this is why you don't actually need to buy Iceborne anymore. Because Grudge does the slows for you. So you can go for Trinity Force and you can go for more damage instead of this, you know, Iceborne build that kind of is more about utility and more about survivability than actually doing any damage then after these three core items you're pretty much all good to go you don't need to bite now i'm kidding you don't really need to buy anything more because these three items are really really strong but afterwards you kind of want to go a little bit more defensive 
Death Stance, another great item. A bunch of health, attack damage, and even more ability haste as well. And it gives you some more physical vamp in there as well. Obviously, as I mentioned, there's no Hunter Vampirism in this build, so uh, physical vamp is always helpful. And also, Death Stance is really, really good as well against Assassins. 30% of damage taken is instead dealt as a bleed effect over 3 seconds. So you can use that physical vamp to heal yourself up. So that bleed effect that you're getting over 3 seconds can be healed over time as well with the physical vamp. So it's quite nice. And then last item, you could go for Guardian Angel. Again, more AD, more armor as well. This is more against them AD assassins that are really helpful. And obviously it allows you to revive as well, which is quite nice. But there are quite a few other options that you can go as well. Obviously... Crit is not really the way to go with Ezreal, but there are some uh, items that you can go. Blade Rune King is still quite good, to be honest. It's not a bad item. I just don't really like the item at all because you kind of don't really need attack speed with Ezreal. You're more going for that attack damage and you're more going for a more... Um, how do I explain? More abilities. So you're focused more on abilities and actually auto-attacking. So you're not really going to auto-attack a lot to benefit from the attack speed. But it is quite a nice item overall if you still want to go for it. Uh, more to remind you, you don't need because you have Serena's Grudge for the armor penetration. Uh, you go for more Malmortius if you're against a lot of AP damage. This can be replaced for the... Um, for like Death Stance or something like that if you want to. It's completely up to you. Um... That's pretty much it, to be fair. You can go for some other crazy items if you want to as well. Uh, maybe go Frozen Heart if you want to as well to get more mana. Obviously, more mana means more damage. And obviously, you have a bit of armor in there as well. Um, like I said, Iceborne Gauntlet is okay. But you don't really need it because you already have the, um, the Icy So effect from Sorella's Grudge. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. Uh, for runes, not really much has changed at all. Conqueror is still the best rune. Allows you to stack up adaptive um, forces really, really quickly with Ezreal. Because you'll be attacking from range and using your abilities from range. Champion. I really like Champion and Ezreal. Obviously, with Ezreal, you're playing really, really passive. So, you won't actually be dying a lot. Well, hopefully, you won't be dying a lot. Um, if you don't want to go Champion, you can also go for Hunter Vampirism if you want to. And then you can change your build, adapting to what you actually want. Again, this build can switch around in many different ways. But I quite like Champion. Because we got the physical vamp from the Gartness Greaves and also the Death Stance. Hunter Titan, still a great rune, tenacity and health, which is quite good. And then Sweet Tooth and spells we have Flush and Barrier or Heal, depending on which one your support takes. But overall, really, really strong champion at the moment. Really, really nice champion to play. Very beginner friendly as well and a very safe champion. So if you want to stay back, if you're kind of... Worried about dying all the time to the enemy team. Ezreal is a good, safe champion that you can pick. And you can stay back and you can kind of play safe. But I want to quickly go into some practice mode. Quickly show you all the build paths, some tips and tricks and everything as well. And I will be right back. With Ezreal, there's a few tips I have with the build path. And what benefits you early on the most. For the Man Immune, you don't really want to rush the Man Immune straight away. You actually just want to buy the Tear of the Goddess. This item just allows you to stack much quicker and allows you to get them 700 stacks before you even build the Man Immune. And then after that, you actually want to go for the Sheen. Now, the Sheen is the one that gives you that Spellblade effect, which is really, really strong. Gives you a little bit of ability haste, but this will give you a huge damage boost, especially for the laning phase. Now, this is really important because with Ezreal, obviously, you're not the strongest in the laning phase and you will lose out with some trades because you'd be rushing Man Immune. And obviously, Man Immune is more of a scaling item. You don't really do it for the early game damage. But if you just buy tier early on and you buy that Sheen, the Sheen will allow you to just deal a little bit of extra damage with your first ability and just help you out a little bit when you're trading and when you're trying to fight during the laning phase. And obviously it helps you with killing minions and everything as well. Obviously, as mentioned with Sheen, it will always proc from your first ability. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen, that Sheen effect at the bottom, you can see it just like hovering there basically. So I'm using my first ability now, but if I actually use my first ability on a target... As you can see, the Sheen will proc straight away. So it will activate the cooldown of the Sheen, but it will actually use it straight away because my first ability is landed. As, men as mentioned, your first ability works as an auto attack. So you, you can actually use this in lane of phase really, really well to poke down the enemies, to CS a lot quicker. But it's really, really important to make sure you get the Sheen item early. And obviously, after the Sheen item, you can then finish the Man Immune completely. So then you're able to get room a lot quicker. Then you go for the Trinity Force, the Sorella's Grudge, 
Death Stance and Guardian Angel. And then obviously for Boots, you could just go for Gluttonous Grease. Now, as mentioned, your first ability goes on cooldown very, very... Well, goes off cooldown, I should say, very, very quickly. As you can see, two second cooldown constantly on my first ability. But if you use your other abilities on top of that as well, you can just keep spamming all your abilities all your once. And obviously, your first ability actually reduces the cooldown of all your other abilities as well. So when I use my first ability, as you can see, my second and my third ability is actually coming off cooldown a lot quicker. And obviously, every single time you hit an ability as well, you can see that the icy effect from Sorelis Grudge is always proccing. So first ability, as you can see, the target dummy is getting slowed. You can see the icy effect. Second ability, if I auto attack afterwards, again, the icy effect. Third ability, icy effect. Ultimate, icy effect as well. And this item is just really, really strong just to keep spamming spells early on and just to keep your distance to your enemies. As mentioned, your auto attacks is not your main purpose with Ezreal. Your main purpose is to sit back, relax, and just use your abilities because you're going to be having pretty much unlimited mana throughout the whole game. As you can see, every time I'm using abilities, Hardly none of my mana is getting used. And every single time you're stacking up that mana immune, obviously it's at 200 at the moment, but you just keep getting more and more mana. As you can see, every single time you use an ability, you just keep gaining more and more mana. So as mentioned, as you're walking to the lane phase, like I'm doing now, use your abilities. It, it won't be any harm of you at all. Just keep using your first ability every time it's off cooldown. Just keep using your first ability every single time you walk towards the lane. Maybe use your blink as well. And as you can see, like as I was walking to the lane, I was able to gain 50 stacks already of mana immune. Obviously, this allows you just to stack it a lot quicker. Get that mirror mana spike quicker so you can carry the fights and you can win the game. But that's my tips and tricks. I'm going to quickly head into gameplay now. Thank you guys for all tuning in as always. I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Have a good rest of the day. Peace. What's the design mean? What's better as third item? Story or Rapify Cannon? Welcome One brings 100% crit, CD. On my way. The only thing is, um, Nax, is that the Rapid Fire Cannon only works like every single time you get the passive. You don't get that range for the whole time, so it's not worth it. It's much worth to go 100% crit, CD, plus the true damage. Like, it's... Far and beyond, so much better to do that. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. It's so much better for good to go for Solari. Thank you very much for the follow, Tam. Appreciate it. I didn't realize who was standing right there. Let's clear kind of my bads. That was a good trade though.
Nice. Nice, nice early plate. Get to go back for my um, my sheen and my tear, which is pretty huge. Good early leads. Get it all up with Rift Herald. They might die now, though. Oh wait, no, they killed a Pantheon? I don't know how we killed the Pantheon there, to be honest. On my way. Actually, I have no idea how they killed the Pantheon. That guy was shopping or something because he was recording. I cancelled his recall. He was shopping or doing something. I don't think it was AFK. I'm pretty sure he was either in the shop or doing something. I don't know. Maybe he thought he went back to base so he closed his app. Could very much be the case. Best tower of the game. Nice and juicy. I mean, I think this game's pretty much over already. Not lie. Pretty dominant lane in face. <laughs> Lulu just chilling, yep. Lulu's just chilling there. Lulu is just chilling. Is Foam out of juice? Maybe. I mean, he moved right the last second. I don't know. Or maybe he actually just AFK'd because he did say in the chat that he was going to go AFK. Or he did say GG or something. Unlucky. Interesting, Pantheon used his ability the wrong way. Ow, that hurt. Oh my god. You're taking free damage for no reason.
both channeled our ulties at the same time, but I came out on top. That was a nice little dodge contest. Uh, dodge contest there. Look, like I was playing some dodgeball. Oh boy, are you serious? Are you? Are you serious, Yi? Like, is that all you can do? I don't know. I don't know, Yi. Guess he's just broken. Chat just kills me. <laughs> I guess he's just completely busted. Nice champ. Very, very nice champ. I'm at my best when the world's on the brink of annihilation. Right, so now, third item, we go for the, um, the grudge item. Your team has slain the dragon. Rage grudge. The item's so, so good. I love it. Not too sure if that's a play, buddy. Not too sure if walking up there was a play. Tell me you, Pantheon. I don't know how it was a play. Oh, it's again. Guys going ham. Guys going ham and ham. Meanwhile, bot lane, Ludo's just farming. Toying with them, chat. I'm at my best when the world's on the brink of annihilation. I'm scared it's Mossy E though. Mossy E could probably still kill me. That is the scary thing. I guess not when we do that, but... They're just getting destroyed right now, chat. What is going on? What is going on? I think Lulu's given up. Lulu has completely given up. Okay. That's not good. That is not good. Time for a true display of skill. That's fine, no, we got Grudge now. So that's pretty nice. It's only We got Grudge in the bag, but it's all good. Hey, Dominate! How you doing, buddy? Thank you very much for Twitch Prime. I appreciate the support, bro. Thank you. Hopefully the rest of your stream yesterday was all good. I still don't know why you're having the problems. The problems that you're having are like... Something that I've never come across before. It's just really, really weird. Wait, he's on a killing spree? Oh. He was on a killing spree.
Snipe. Oh, he dodged it. Well played. Well played there. Nice dodge. Very, very nice dodge. Alright, for the next item, we're going to go for Death Stance for even more ability haste and some life steal. Especially against Master Yi as well, would be really, really nice to get Death Stance so we get damage over time instead of like just getting bursted one shot all the time. Oh my lord. You nearly killed me again, chat. I love these slows for my cues. There's no way, right? Ah, I couldn't kill him. That's so unlucky. Yeah, I have no clue either, but whatever's, yeah. I mean, I guess you have a solution to it, so... Not the, uh, not the worst thing in the world. I'm at my best when the world's on the brink of annihilation. I guess it could be worse. The gauntlet's for show. The talent's on me. I'm quite close now to Death Dance. Under attack. Okay. Go back and get Death Stance. And then probably for our last item, we'll probably just go for uh, for GA. I don't think you need to all blade the Ring King now. Which you're more going for like utility than actual uh, actual power like Blade the Ring King. Yeah, probably best thing is go for GA last item. Now we're quite tanky. We also do a lot of damage. We also slow at the same time for all our abilities. Really nice combo. I'll get Penta. Damn me. Hey, maybe? Maybe Penta? Okay, no Penta. Sounds dangerous. No Penta for me. We should really go for Baron here. We should really just go for Baron and just try and end the game. Go for Zonius just in case I get jumped on by Yi. We just go Baron in the game now, should be pretty good. I'm trying to rap fire can the Ez cause uh, Ah, it's not worth it. Rapid fire can is not worth it. Dangerous. I'm in. On engage. Attack Baron. Attack Baron. Enemy slain. On my way. I have my Q cooldown up so often as well, which is so nice. Got utility, I got load of HP. I'm at my best in the world the brink of my Love it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lulu. Um, your day is about to get not fun. I was going to let you go, but... 
I don't think so. Yeah, I was gonna let you go that easily. Nah. Oh my god, that damage. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we ended anyway. <laughs> I thought I was going to die there to Varus Ulti underneath Nexus, but it's all good. <laughs>